right, y'all. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Um, what I've decided I'm going to do is I want to review Bang Energy Drink that is keto friendly. And um, since I've been on keto, I have stopped drinking soda pop. Well, Dr. Pepper was my soda pop of choice. And I've stopped drinking soda pop. And so I don't get the caffeine because I also don't drink coffee. I do not like coffee. So because I don't get the caffeine from anything anymore, that I really get run down sometimes during the middle of the day. Now, <clears throat> with that said, I do not like to normally drink energy drinks because I have tried some different brands. I've tried different flavors. I have took a drink or took a sip here and there that people's had and I have never liked them ever. Now, um, so I've never drank a complete or a whole can of energy drink. Now, um, I haven't found one that I like that I'm like, I'm willing to pay that much for an energy drink. But I didn't need it because I had the caffeine from my Dr. Pepper. So, um, now that I don't drink Dr. Pepper, the only thing that I will drink is every once in a while, I will take um, a drink or some of my husband's uh, Coke. He will drink Coke or Cherry Coke or Vanilla Coke. And I will um, take a drink of that every once in a while. But I cannot drink an entire Coke because it comes, what goes in comes right out. And it just uh, doesn't stay with me very long. So I can take a few drinks of his Coke, but I can't drink a whole thing enough to give me the caffeine that my body wants to keep me going or keep me busy about buying on keto energy drinks. That you can have them, that they're good for you, that, you know, I guess everybody has their own opinion, that I thought I would try them. Now, a good thing is, is that they don't make my heart race, they don't make me feel jittery, and I told um, what I said was I've never drank a complete energy drink, but I have tried like those, I like, I want to say they're called B12 vitamin packs or something, a little drink, it's red and yellow colored, and it's supposed to give you energy, well that thing made my heart jitter, it made me feel um, real jittery, and I didn't like that feeling. I don't like feeling that way. I don't mind having energy, or I don't mind, but I don't feel that way when I drink a bang. So, that's why I've drank a few of these, and I'm sticking with them. Now, the prices that I have paid for these has been between $2.59 was the highest I paid. And I explained to that store that that was too high. I said the most places I pay are between $1.99 and uh, $2.39. And so... I'm going to start putting prices on here now if I can remember when I buy one because each convenience store is different. That way you have an idea of the price range that I'm paying for these, the flavors that there are available, and see what the flavors that I like and maybe that'll give you an opinion of what you can buy. Um, so this is going to be my first one today. I'm going to try Rainbow Unicorn today. It's in a pink and blue can and I will show you the can real quick it looks like this it is called rainbow unicorn now you never know what a rainbow unicorn is going to taste like if you get something called sour apple you kind of have an idea of what that's going to taste like some of the names of these you would have no idea what it's going to taste like until you buy it and try it and I want people to know that I, well, I guess because I don't like it don't mean you ain't gonna like it. But if I tell you what it tastes like, then maybe you will have an idea before if you don't want to try the flavor that I think that it tastes like. So, here we go. Okay. Woo, got it. Okay, it's a little bit of sweet. And then the sour hits you. It's not super sour. We're talking on the small amount of sour. It's a little bit sour. Uh, but I don't know what flavor. It's, it's more like a Jolly Rancher flavor. Um, maybe like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Let's try that again. I don't really like that. It's not that good. Sorry. It's not horrible. I've had better. It's not that good. I don't really like it. It's a little sweet like a Jolly Rancher and then a little bit of sour 
kind of hits you. So it's more on the sweet side, but mm, it's not really good. Now this morning, I did pay $1.69 for that. I have never seen a Bang Energy drink at $1.69. The cheapest I've ever paid so far is $1.99. So I don't know. It, it wouldn't scan when she scanned the can. So maybe she didn't know what the price was and she just put in $1.69. But I bought a couple of the things with it, so I didn't realize that that was the price until now until I got my receipt and looked at my receipt. So, not the best. Probably not going to be the worst. Because let me tell you, they carry a blue raspberry. That is one thing that I hate more than anything is something that's blue raspberry flavored. That is awful. Now, I will do it, and I will try it for this channel. But y'all, that is going to be hard on me. So, rainbow, Ener rainbow energy, that's funny. Rainbow unicorn does give me energy, doesn't make me feel jittery, but I'm going to drink it down, get to work this morning, and get my day started. You guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I will answer your questions if I can get to it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hi, right, y'all. This is my second keto drink trial. And it is the Bang Energy Drink. And I am trying, this morning, I am trying Power Punch. It is actually pretty good. I like it. This would probably be one of my top flavors. Um, it, it, the punch, it does kind of remind me a little bit of like a Kool-Aid. But it's not that sweet. Uh, it does have some sweetness to it, which they all have some sweetener in them. And so it has a little bit of sweetness to it. So it's not as sweet as what you would think of Kool-Aid when you think of Kool-Aid. But it does have a little bit of that flavor. Now, it, this one has an aftertaste, which I think, if I remember, I think a lot of them do have a little bit of an aftertaste. But anytime you have sweetener, artificial sweetener, it does kind of leave a little bit of an aftertaste, but it's not bad. And um, I'll, I'll put this the top ones that I do like, this Power Punch one. And this is one that I would buy again. All right, y'all. We are moving on here to Rainbow Unicorn. This is a pink and blue can. I bought this this morning from the convenience store. And I don't think I like it. I have tried a couple of drinks of it. It's a little bit sour. Um, it's not the best one. But if you like them where they're not so sweet. And maybe a little bit more sour. You might would like Rainbow Unicorn. Uh, I was talking to my daughter. And I think it's got a little bit of uh, sour flavor. Almost like a Jolly Rancher. It, it tastes, she made the comment, it tastes kind of like a green apple Jolly Rancher. So, she always tries a drink of mine. I never let her drink a complete when she's got enough energy as it is. But she always wants to try a drink, so I'll let her try a drink of it. So, it's got a little bit of a sour flavor to it. It's not very sweet, and it's really not my favorite. Alright, y'all. My flavor this morning is purple guava pear. Um, I have never seen this flavor before but when we went to Texas this weekend I found this while we were in Texas at a convenience store and I have to say this is probably one of the better flavors now out of all the flavors that I have ever tried there is probably three or four that I really think is a good flavor and this is one of those this is this is a pretty good one purple guava pear That one's a little on the sweeter side. And you can definitely taste the pear. Now, I don't know what guava actually tastes like. I think it's a tropical fruit. But I'm not sure what its flavor is. But I like the flavor of the pear. You can taste that. This is a little on the sweeter side of the drink. Some of them are sweet. Some of them are sour. But this one is a good one.
I give it two thumbs up. I really like it. All right, y'all. Good Wednesday morning. I'm going to hop on here real quick, and we're going to review Black Cherry Vanilla this morning. Let's see what this flavor is and what it tastes like. It is very good. It has more cherry than vanilla flavor, but I can actually taste a little of the vanilla. The cherry comes out a little stronger. This is on the side of the medium sweetness, so if you like one that's not so sour, because some of them are sour, this one's a medium sweet, and then there's a few of them that are super sweet. This one's very good. It has a good flavor. I like it. I would buy it again. Um... And that's what I have to say about the black cherry vanilla. It's in this black and red can, and it tastes pretty good. Hi, right, y'all. Good morning. I'm sitting in the parking lot this morning fixing to go to work, and I'm going to review Sour Heads Bang Energy Drink. This one is a like a medium sour. It is not one of my favorites, but I have had worse ring it in for $1.79. Uh, it didn't ring up and when it doesn't ring up the associate just guesses the price and $1.79 is probably the cheapest so far that I have paid for a Bang Energy drink. So um, it tastes like sour apple. It's not my favorite but if I had to choose between this and some of the others I don't like I would definitely choose this one again. Alright y'all good morning. This morning I am going to review Star Blast. It is in this red, white, and blue can. I bought it at the store this morning for $2.59, and that is the highest price that I have paid for a Bang Energy drink. Oh, I like this one. Um, this is a fruity flavor, probably kind of like a strawberry, maybe, flavor. It's in the medium sweet. Um, I like it. Whoa, there's a little bit of a, a stout. There's something stout, but it tastes almost like a, a Kool Aid, maybe. Not as sweet as Kool Aid is, but it is a medium sweet drink. And that's a really good one. That's one that I would buy again. But, um, Probably not at the convenience store that I got it at this morning because $2.59 is a little bit of a steep price to pay. Alright y'all, good morning. I am going to be reviewing Citrus Twist this morning. It is a keto friendly energy drink called Bang. The flavor is Citrus Twist. And I like this. I did Google what fruits are citrus because I can't figure out what flavor that is. It's not real orange, or it's not a strong orange flavor. Um, it's not sour for lemon and lime. And then it's also, uh, citrus fruit is also grapefruit. Well, um, it doesn't have a strong grapefruit flavor. So it may be a combination of the three. But it's really good. It's not medium sweet. It's more on the lower sweet side. So I do like it. And this is actually one that I would choose over other flavors. If I had other choices in this one, I would choose this one. So it is a really good flavor. And I think I need to start doing a scale of 1 to 10. Um, so you can kind of see where I stand on what I'm saying. Uh, and this one's more like an 8 or a 9. I really like this one. It's very good. Alright y'all, good morning. I am going to be reviewing this morning Pina Colada Bang Energy Drink. And I bought them this morning at the convenience store and I bought two. And they cost me exactly $5. So they've got to be somewhere around $220 to $229 a piece. Because when you add tax on there, that would be close to being $5 for two of them. I'm going to review this and see what I think. Okay. It does have a pina colada flavor. It's really good. It is more on the sweet side. Um, I like it. 
and it's got a strong flavor it's got a good flavor and so that everyone knows in case you're wondering every one of these are clear I don't know how they make them clear but they are that's something that kind of makes me wonder because I always think it should have all the stuff you add to it it should have some color to it but it never does they're always clear I just wanted to review pina colada this morning it is good at 229 and I would buy pina colada again it's really good good morning um, this morning I am going to review cotton candy I have had this drink before and I will probably never buy it again. I didn't like it the first time I had it, but I am going to stick with it for you guys and we're going to review cotton candy. It is in a black and pink can and this sucker is super sweet. If you like it sweet, you will like this. Oh, that, and it tastes like cotton candy. If you think about what cotton candy tastes like, that is it. It tastes like liquid cotton candy. It is very sweet. That's the one that, one of the ones that I paid when I bought two for $5. Um, I probably, more than likely, will never buy that again. That is way too sweet. I have only bought it one other time and that is a flavor that I do not like. Um, it is drinkable, yes, and it's not that it's a horrible taste, but I'm really not big on cotton candy and so I'm not big on this drink cotton candy because it tastes just like it. So that's my personal opinion. It's not that it's bad, it's just super sweet and it tastes like cotton candy. That's my review on that one. Good morning, everyone. I am going to do a review of Bang Energy Drink, and this flavor is Pina Colada. Now, I may have done one of these reviews before on this flavor, but I'm mostly on here to say that I found them at Walmart, and the price was $1.98. So I was excited that I was waiting for them to come to Walmart because I knew they would probably be really close to $2 and I didn't have to pay the $2.29, $2.59. Um, they had four or maybe five flavors. I can remember they had Purple Haze because I bought it. They had Pina Colada. They had Bangster Berry. I bought those and I think they also had Sour Apple and uh, Cotton Candy and I did not buy the Sour Apple or the Cotton Candy because those are the two that I don't like. So I ended up buying four or five of them, and um, I've got them all at the house. So I brought that one with me this morning, which was Pina Colada, and um, I put it on some ice. So I've got a little cup here of Pina Colada with some ice. Oh, I like it. It is a little bit on the sweet, sweeter side. It's not the super sweet, a little more than medium sweet, but it does have probably the coconut flavor is the strongest and um, I think pina colada is coconut and maybe pineapple I don't taste much pineapple I taste mostly just sweet and coconut so just want to hop on here uh, say that real quick and then I'll add this to my list when I do all of my reviews of bang energy drink thanks all right y'all good morning uh, it's Monday morning I'm on my way to work and I am going to try out a new flavor of energy drink that I have never seen before. And it is called Bangster Berry. It's in this silver and purple can. This morning I paid $2.59 for this. Um, that, that's the store that I normally get it at is $2.39. I guess they raised them up $0.20 cents because it was a little more. I bought three at a time and it was a little more morning when I bought it and I thought well that's strange I looked at my ticket and it was $2.59 so they've raised the price 20 cents so I'm gonna have to see if I can find another store that carries these um, both stores that are convenient for me to stop at are $2.50 and $2.59 for them but if I wait till I get on into my town where I work 
uh, nobody has them. I stopped at two stores in my town and nobody has them there. So I'm gonna have to find them and find the place. I may have to order some off Amazon if I can to keep them from being so expensive. But uh, this morning I'm gonna try this Bankster Berry for the first time and give you a first time taste test of this new, well, it's new to me, I've never seen it, Bankster Berry. Oh, I like that one. This one is good. Oh, it's, it's a little bit grapey. It's not very sweet. We're in the lower sweetness category, and that's one thing that I like. I don't like them when they're super sweet. So it does taste a little bit like grape, and then there, there is a berry after flavor of it. Now that is going to be one of my top flavors. That is probably one of my favorite out of all of them I've tried so far. Some of them have been okay, and some of them have been awful, but that's a good one, and I will drink that again. It's very good, uh, a little bit grape, a little bit berry, but I like the flavor of that. Yes, that one is a must buy. 